Hello guys, I am Papok and today I am going to make a video about my recently bought media converters. Those are media converters for fiber optic to Ethernet converters and you can use it vice versa as well. So actually I got them a week ago and I posted uh, pictures of them in Facebook. And then uh, in this picture my friends were commenting like uh, what is this, what does it, it do and uh, like what I am going to do with them and etc uh, etc et so i told them okay let's uh, i'll make a video about it uh, first of all i am going to show you the uh, media converters so i've got two of them now let's say what does it do uh, so first of all uh, these are uh, media converters so this will convert your ethernet connection or ethernet signal to optical signal and uh, then the another one will convert the optical signal back to ethernet connection so it's basically uh, to convert the uh, ethernet to fiber optic and fiber optic to ethernet so that's it the uh, next question is uh, why i need this or what I am going to do with this. So, so the first uh, first thing is, uh, if I directly use the Ethernet cable provided by my ISP uh, in my router or say in my uh, computer, then uh, there is a chance of uh, damage because of uh, lightning. So, so that's why I have to take some kind of protection. So, I need to break the electric signal provided in in the uh, Ethernet cable. So. That's why I am going to break the Ethernet connection or so the electric signal into fiber optic and then I will convert the optical signal back to Ethernet so that uh, even if uh, there is any kind of uh, lightning only one of my media converter will get the damage. The rest of the system will work fine. So those will be unharmed. So uh, there another question comes. Uh, I could have uh, used some Wi-Fi devices. So actually, I'm using uh, Wi-Fi to prevent this damage till now. And uh, using Wi-Fi is more cost-effective than these uh, media converters. But uh, it's like uh, my Wi-Fi router is for uh, 800 rupees, where these media converters, each of them are of uh, 1,500 rupees. So why why these? So the question is, uh, sorry, the thing is, I need full performance. So when it comes to Wi-Fi, it will actually uh, give you 150 Mbps like uh, mine, or maybe 300 Mbps. But uh, here, the 150 Mbps will be shared between all the devices. So I have like one desktop, one uh, laptop and uh, one Raspberry Pi and then I have uh, my mobile phone and uh, my roommate got another laptop and he also got some mobile phone. So there is like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, there are like six or seven devices. So all will be sharing this same 150 Mbps and uh, it's for both up and down so you're not getting 100, 150 mbps for down and another 150 mbps up so you'll actually get uh, 75 mbps for down and another 75 mbps for up so in LAN we're getting 100 mbps for all those devices so uh, I have uh, say I have four ports for uh, LAN and all those four ports have 100 mbps down speed and another 100 mbps for up speed so all of my devices can use uh, 100 mbps dedicated for them for both upload and download so that's why i cannot rely on uh, wi-fi because while i was uh, i was transferring file from uh, my computer to my laptop then i was getting like uh, uh, i was getting like some uh, three or four megabyte per second so that's uh, not what i want okay i i need full 100 mbps so that's why these uh, fiber optic converters so let's say how this works okay first of all i don't have a very good idea about how it works so 
I'll just uh, try to explain uh, what I know. Okay, so let's say uh, this is the uh, fiber optic converter, and uh, here is the uh, power. Here we need to insert the power, and uh, here you can see you can see uh, the Ethernet cable. Sorry, the uh, RJ5 uh, RJ45 Ethernet port and uh, some LEDs and two port for the fiber optics so you can see that uh, here this one is TX so TX will basically uh, transmit the optical signal and the RX for receiving that optical signal so I have like uh, I have two of them so from this one from this one uh, the uh, I will add one uh, fiber optic cable in the TX port and I will connect it to another one's RX port. So the optical signal tra uh, transmitted from this one's TX port will go to another one's RX port. So uh, that will be receiving and uh, I will do vice versa like uh, I will uh, connect another uh, fiber optic cable to this RX and it, I will connect it to another one's uh, TX. So the optical signal coming from that media converter will uh, be received in here so this is the basic idea so here is the okay let's uh, show the patch cards as well these are the uh, patch cards so i was kind of sur surprised i thought uh, this will be uh, thicker you know so anyway this is it and uh, okay uh, so now i'll uh, connect those things and we'll show what happens okay okay guys so uh, this is the uh, this is what it will be like and uh, you can see that i have connected the patch code a to the uh, tx of the first one and uh, it's going to the second one's RX port and uh, same as vice versa you can see that so let me connect all those things and uh, then I'll show the show it in action okay so here are my media converters connected up and running and uh, let's uh, I'll try to s show you guys the back view so there is really low light in there so you can see both are connected so all the patch cords are connected all four four of them and uh, you can also see there are two ethernet ports so the uh, the upper one uh, okay this will be okay so the upper one upper one is uh, from my isp and the uh, lower one is uh, going to my router so that is actually connected to my router and uh, everything is working fine as you can see uh, like i can open up my web browser uh, web browser and i can uh, try to open anything like maybe google uh, okay so uh, after the login so anyway it's uh, working fine as you can see I, I can open google here and uh, this is it see you guys later bye